about today. Team Play is an organization that mentors children in East Oakland to um, prevent them from joining gangs. We do that through mentorship and through online communities. So enjoy! the CEO of Team Play. That's right. Exciting organization for Oakland. Really, tell us about how it started and what the charge is. So, uh, Baron Davis and I actually founded it about six months ago. And we, we founded it because we noticed something interesting, which was that all, all inner city educators are all clamoring for the same basic thing, saying that we need mentors and role models for these kids. And we looked around and noticed that a lot of a lot of young professionals, a lot of people generally, would love to get engaged and be a mentor role model, like the, the, the big brothers, big sisters really appeal People, most people have thought, God, I should really go do that. But time, work, life gets in the way. And so we noticed that almost all the kids are online, uh, MySpace, and almost all the adults are also building social networks online. And so we created something that works like a MySpace for mentors. It's basically a way that a kid can form a whole team of mentors rather than just a one-to-one -one relationship. That's good for the mentor and it's good for the kid. The kid then gets access to a bunch of a bunch of adult relationships, all caring, all supportive. Meanwhile, the, the, the mentor actually is in a position where if they go if they have to go away for a couple months, they don't feel like they've let the kid down because they know that that kid has a bunch of other relationships, including parents, teachers, and other volunteers, both from, from their community and then from the professional world of arts. I'm curious because a lot of conversation has been about kids and gangs. Yeah. And sports people are talking about it. How does this program reach kids who have gone that far? So we actually have gotten started with, uh, we've actually gotten started with middle schools. Um, trying to get the kids just before they start making those decisions that they can't come back from, and so the idea is to is to take the kids who are on that who are on that path, and before they start that too far down it, get them with a legitimate, real dream for their life, and then actively pursuing that dream through school. If people want to get involved and help you, how do they do it? All right, so our website is up. Essentially, we're looking for mentors. We're looking for financial for financial resources. We're looking for uh, connections to companies that can help build both that financial and the mentorship network. Um, so basically, go online to www.teamplayfoundation.org. Join our Facebook group. Join our MySpace group. That way, we can get to know you, bring you in, get you into the network, and then make your profile available for kids who who can then go through search and start to form their teams. Hey, I look forward to the rest of this night. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. This organization, what do you think about it? It looks like it's going to be going places. It already is, right? Uh, this organization is my heart. Uh, it's been a dream of mine mm -hmm. ever since uh, I became a professional athlete. Is to bring something back, you know, to kids in the city, give them an opportunity to see beyond those boundaries and, and see beyond those boundaries. And you know, team play is you know, a foundation that is, is an active foundation. And, you know, we are going into the schools, getting our hands dirty to give these kids a better opportunity. You know, nothing more and nothing less. We want them, we want these kids to have an opportunity to see his life, and that's what we live by. There's a real problem with gangs and everything. They help out a lot, right? There's a real problem with the gangs and everything. They help out a lot, right? Yeah, you know, you have to, you can't, you can't run or shy away from the negative vices in the neighborhood. You have to address them, and you have to make the kids aware that it goes on, but there's a world outside of that, and help them and, uh, and give them opportunities to see that. And the best way to do that is through mentorship. Charles Marcy, you're the director of Tiffany's. I am. Tell us about your contribution to this great event. Well, we met with Gunnar Councilman and Team Play last about a month and a, a month and a half ago. We decided to uh, support with a donation of a watch for raffle because it's such a compelling organization that does so much for youth on, in the community. We like supporting causes that do a lot for the community and that we get some return out of it as well. And this really fits your demographic, doesn't it? I mean, it certainly right does. Now. We always look to with Tiffany has a broad demographic. We don't have one particular segment of client. We are. Uh, accessible but very aspirational and we uh, we like our clients to come from a broad sector of, uh, of the community and this certainly fits that bill. That blogs are seen around the world when they're in the Bay Area how can they find your source? Uh, we're at 350 Post Street in the heart of San Francisco in Union Square and uh, we'd love to see anybody. Thank you. Well I want to personally uh, thank you all. I was going to speak after the uh, video but even if it doesn't run um, First and foremost, uh, Team Play, I just want to let you know that Team Play is going to be here and, you know, my involvement here in the Bay Area because of the support that you all have given me. 
I want to give something in return, and that's why I want to keep team play here. So no matter what team I play for in the NBA, this will always be my And second, uh, to talk about the film, I wanted to make this film to give kids an opportunity to see a different part of life, to see where they came from, to see where they are, and they're all at crossroads. And that's where I was, you know, when I was 13, 14 years old, and I never, I never had, an opp had the opportunity to go with the negative vices because I had mentors, I had people who relied on me who basically told me that it was up to me to make it. And because of that, I was able to make it to the NBA and I wanted to make a film to let the gangs and the kids that's growing up in these gang environments, let them get an understanding of who they are, but where they can transcend if, if the opportunities are available. So that's the reason for team play and that's the reason for Made in America. And hopefully this Made in America can give us a, a huge platform to show team play to you know the Southern California as well as well as the rest of the world. So thank you all for coming. I hope the video works. If it doesn't, I can probably memorize it and tell you all. <laughs> okay. So I'm actually just going to talk a little bit about team play um, and tell you guys a little bit about the way that it works. So um, first off, I want to I want to make an assertion that I hope most people in the room can can take my word for it. We did about 100 interviews with, with uh, inner city educators, principals, <laughs> teachers, a bunch of other people who, who've been working at this problem for a very long time. And the thing that they were all asking for, the one thing that, that came out of their mouth first in almost every single... <laughs> Some of my favorite noises. Um, I mean, the computer's working again. So the, uh, the one thing that they, all, that they all clamor for is mentors. Mentors and role models, especially for the young men. Now, just by a show of hands, I'm curious, how many people in the room have ever seen a Big Brothers, Big Sisters advertisement and thought to thought themselves, man, I'd really like to get involved in that. That's something that sounds really great. I'd like to be a mentor, I'd like to get engaged. Well, I can tell you that, that most people, at some point in their life, have thought that, but most people, most people are not actually able to do it. And it's not their fault. The fact is that there's some, there's some real big barriers between, between those of us who would like to get engaged in that way, and uh, um, and the actual uh, opportunity, uh, and the actual kids who are there. Think about timing, right? We're busy working adults. We're trying to get we're trying to get uh, uh, our lives in order. We're trying to get all the things we've got going on. Geography. The kids often don't live geographically close to us, and so we looked at that and then noticed something interesting, which was that almost every single kid in the inner city, 77 percent, according to one study by the University of Minnesota are using social networking tools online to form friends, to form groups of friends. And so what we did was we said, okay, well, let's build a goal-oriented social network. Let's build a, basically, MySpace or Facebook for mentors. And what this, what this site allows us to do is actually to form, um, to form teams of people who work together in order to support these kids. Now, the site is fully up and operational right now. And if, the computer, if we get the computer up, we'll be able to show you exactly how it's up and up and operational. But uh, what it does is it allows the kid working with a success coach to, to set goals for themselves, to say, what is it that I want out of life? Who do I want to be? What do I want to do? And then to ask themselves the key question, what does it take to get there? Right? And very quickly, when you're working with the kids, they recognize, at the very least, I've got to graduate from high school. At the very least, I've got to graduate from high school. When you talk to them about where they are in terms of that goal, even if you want to be a Baron Davis, Right? You've got to graduate from high school. You've got to have the kind of grades and scores that can get you into college. And so, and so uh, having established those basics of like what it, of, uh, the kids plan to go from where they are to where they want to be, we then start adding in adult relationships, mentors. First is someone from their home, a parent, guardian, brother, sister, somebody who cares about the kid and wants, and wants to support them to go in the right direction. Next is somebody from the campus, an adult on campus, a favorite teacher, and what's kind of fun is that just about every kid has that favorite teacher. Just about every kid has somebody on campus that they look up to, and those teachers are often shocked and, and awed to find out that they are actually that kid's, that kid's person. And then having done that, they've got their core team in place, they've got their, their success coach, their parent, their, their teacher. They're then in a position to start layering those additional adult relationships. People like us, who may be traveling all the time, who may be moving from one city to another, Right? but who still, because of this flat world that we live in, 
are able to stay connected with that kid, stay engaged as they set and achieve increasingly difficult goals. That's what this, that's what this, uh, this site allows us to do. Um, and really that's, that's team play at the end of the day. It's about kids identifying what they want out of life and then being able to connect with adults who can support them to get there. Now, the, the th couple things that I want to point out about that, first off, is the cost, right? It looks like, and we're still a startup, I wore, I wore this outfit tonight to make a point, which is that <laughs> we're, working, we're working out of my living room. When we're not in school, like, we got a really, really low overhead here, guys. But we've got a, we've got a tremendous technology that uh, hopefully we'll be able to demonstrate, but maybe not, not a big deal. Um, um, so it looks like at this early stage that for about $800 to $1,200, we'll be able to put a kid in the team play mentorship program for life. Okay, now I want you guys to compare that with some of the, some of the alternatives. So when a kid doesn't graduate from high school, it, it appears, and it depends on how you calculate and depends on how you believe it, it appears that each one of those, each one of those kids' non-graduation costs society somewhere between $100,000 to $250,000. That's not even factoring in the human cost, right? So if you believe that those connections can really Get a kid, get a kid who's move, moving in the right direction and keep going there. The return on the investment is tremendous. Um, finally, we've got packets set up over here, which have if you're compelled by what we're talking about, if you're compelled by this this concept of team play, we've got some next steps that we would love for everyone to take. When I say that we're a startup, I mean it. I mean we are lean. We we've got four partner schools over in East Oakland that we're working with. We've got about 40, 40 to 50 kids that we've inducted into the program right now. We're looking for mentors. We're looking for financial resources. We're looking for we're looking for connections to companies, foundations, others who can provide the team of resources that we need in order to really support these kids. Um, and, and really, at the end of the day, that's team play. That's what we're here for. That's what we're uh, that's what we're about. And I hope that uh, I can, in a in a very you know, non-pressure sort of way. We've got a really wonderful raffle set up, as I mentioned before. We've got uh, we've got three beautiful raffle items, and if you and if you have the means and you would like to get involved um, tonight, there's the opportunity to go back and do so. Um, it, what we're really looking for as well is is follow up. We'd love to sit down if you if you're compelled by this concept. We'd love to sit down and share with you in more detail and see if there's ways that we can team up in order to make this 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 uh, this mission happen. So.